Can I be this car? You can be that car and I'll be this car. Hi, honey. Hey, babe, this is so perfect. You already have a toy chest in your house. I mean, Morgan's already, you know, outgrown these toys, so it's perfect for Lucian. Right? You like them. He likes the toys, babe. He should get his own toys, right? So we could go shopping and buy him some new toys. Well, I'm going to take him in the kitchen. I'm going to make you want me to make you some waffles and some pancakes. What? He makes good waffles. But we we are uh, we're going to go to Kelly's, right? That's not happening. So a little boys up up with uh, Max playing in, in Morgan's remote control cars and everything. So. Right. Okay. So I know that tone. What tone? I said great. Yeah, but it's not what you said. It's how you said it. So w I don't what know did you I do? You didn't do anything. Could you just just tell me why you're mad? What? I'm not mad. I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm in here trying to figure out what's going on. I am playing with my son. I told him we were going to go to Kelly's, and then you just walk in and say we're not. So I guess we're not. The, the I, little, I don't like breaking promises to my son on the first day. But the little know? kid so, didn't see it that way. Yeah, sweetie, how do you know how the little kid saw anything? You know, this is, this is a, a, he's three. I mean, he just lost his whole entire family. So I'm pretty sure that you don't know, you know, what he's feeling at all. And I just think right now he needs love and assurance and... Simplicity. So a little simplicity would be good. You know, normal people say, hey, let's get up and go have breakfast at Kelly's. We have to be careful, you know that. I got it. And I know that I, my... He's three. I'm just reminding you. I know that my life is difficult and adjustments need to be made and security has to be put in place. Until that's done, I don't want you running around town whenever you feel like it. Do you get that? I do get that. I, I understand what you're saying. But, uh... Okay, look, look, it's just a couple, a couple hours, this, this little boy's going to fall in love with Max, you know, because he's great with kids, because he's protected him his whole life, and I'm, I just I need to shift some personnel around so I can get my life back to normal oh, until yeah. that ha I don't need Wait. You. I'm sorry. Are you still, you're not upset, are you still upset? I don't need you to shift personnel around for my child. I'm not letting bodyguards raise my child. Okay? I don't want that kind of life for him. That is, I, I don't want him to be raised like... Like what? Like my, like my kids? Sorry. I didn't mean to imply that there's anything wrong with the way Michael and Morgan were raised. I get, I get it. That, you know, a little boy makes it personal. Yeah. Look, I know that you don't want to talk about this, and I don't want to either, but we have to think about who his father is and the way that his father was raised around this huge mob figure. And this kid's father was raised by bodyguards, you know? Bodyguards oh. constantly, day in, day out. The, these guys taught him how to shoot guns and... You know, okay. you know what else they taught him. You don't want this life for your son. No, I, and I don't. Right, and, I, and if, you know, I could have something different for my kids, I would have. Look at, look at Jason and Jake. He wants something know, different, I right? Know, I know. But you know what? This is a life that we're in. And the number one thing that, that I have to do as a man is to protect my family. I know that. Listen, I know that you're blindsided. You know, somebody come, comes at your front door, drops off a little boy and says, hey, this is your son. Yeah, but okay, we, but we, we just got to let things settle. That's I all. I don't understand how much time I lost with him, and I feel like I'm never going to be able to make it up to him. Oh, that's normal. You know, we just, we're just we going to figure that out. In the meantime, listen, you got a whole house here, right? Mm -hmm. Get to know this little boy, okay? And then let him, you know, you don't, you don't have to explain a lot. Just, just do what you do. Yeah. Right? But I'm not going to let anything hurt him. I don't want anything to hurt him. Yeah. You know, like everybody, how, how they are, judging and gossiping and asking a bunch of questions, you know, things that are none of their business, so. Yeah. I'm going to go check on Lucian. to uh, shift some personnel. Um, I need Max Milo off me for uh, a special detail that's happening. 
Well, uh, you mind if I ask why? I was hoping you would ask that question. Um, the, the, you don't, I don't even want to bother you with this right now. You just let me decide what I can handle, and if I can handle it, I'll tell you. If I can't, I'll tell you. Okay, here's the thing. Um, so, literally, Suzanne comes to our doorstep and drops off a little boy. Says it's Brenda's son. Okay? She says that, you know, Brenda didn't lose her baby in Africa. Her baby was born uh, alive and healthy. She was making arrangements to get the, the, you know, the little boy adopted. The adopted parents died. So she brings the boy to us. His name is Lucian, and he's three years old. You trust this? I don't trust Suzanne as far as I can throw her. I need facts. But the thing is, Brenda's already fallen in love with the little boy. She's a, a, like an instant mother. And I got, a, I got a stepson I didn't see coming. Max and Milo, they're, they're the best choice. You know, they were always great with Michael and Morgan. So what I'll do, I'll take Vinny off the warehouse and he'll be your driver. Vinny's great, what about my house? And I'm, I'm thinking Richard and Sal for that. that. Is that good? Yeah, that, that's good. I'm sorry you had to deal with this. This is... Yeah. That's my job. Thanks. Sonny. Yeah? So you're just gonna accept Suzanne's story? Well, you know, the facts fit, but I, I don't know at this point. It complicates everything. You think? I don't know how Brenda's going to feel raising a, a kid in this lifestyle. She's already questioning, you know, the extra bodyguards yeah, that I'm She doesn't get to question in. anything. I mean, this is what she signed on for. What, are you just going to give the kid away? Sorry. No, I mean, you don't have to apologize. Uh, just, you know, with Jake, um... You know, he was unexpected, and Elizabeth and I didn't plan on it, and I just, you know, I gave up. I walked away. I'm going to make sure the guards work. You know, every night, um, every night I'd take a night to my cars. I named all of them. So every car had a name, and I'd go like this. Good night, Henry. <laughs> yeah, that was my nightly ritual. I could do that with you if you want. I could come in and we could say good night to each one of your toys together. Do you want to do that? Who's your friend? Sonny's not home. Carla. I have to talk to him. It's really uh, important. Well, you should have called first. It would have saved you a trip. He's not here. Look at all your cars you have here. Wow. What's your name? Hmm? His name is Lucian. He's my son. I'm coming by. Whatever you need. Uh, first of all, I want to say how sorry I am, you know, for your loss. Yeah, thank you. I know. Nothing helps. Yeah, well, people have to say something, you know? Yeah. I guess. So listen, I, uh... This is my dad. He, he's having a hard time. I, I keep hearing how much he needs me. I'm sure he does. Well, that's, that's the problem, because I can't help him right now. I mean, I can't sit with him and... and watch him drink his way through grief when drinking is, is what got Jake killed in the first place. No, don't give him any more gum and candy. Uh, I'll, just one second, I'll be right back. Wow, you're still here. That's... No more gum or candy. You know, Max and Milo, they're great with kids. Morgan and Michael love them. Yeah, Max and Milo are, um, you know, bodyguards, not nannies, so I just... I kind of want to raise my son myself, you know. You know, when I walked in, I saw Lucian sitting there. I thought, wow, he looks just like Sonny. Dark hair, dark eyes. Who could his mother be? Because Sonny almost married Kate. Could it be Kate? And then he did marry Claude. Could I have been Claudia. really am astounded at your ability to be rude to me. I mean, I, 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 I guess you can't help it. I'm just I, making I'm sure conversation. And, you know, the more I think about it, you should be thanking me. For what? 
for exposing your dirty little secret. If not, Sonny would have been blindsided by Lucian. I'm going to tell Sonny that you came by. Thank goodness Sonny has experience with kids, because I'm betting you're going to be a disaster. I've got some idea of the roller coaster ride you're on when Michael was shot and he wasn't expected to live. I had so much grief, so much rage that I wanted the man who put my son in that hospital bed to pay with his life. Yeah, and he did. But that's not an option. No, no, it's not. Somebody and I had, sunny. look, I had somebody to blame, some, the man who pulled the trigger. So I could hunt him down. I could, I could, I could take him out with no mercy. But we're talking about your dad. He would never hurt a child. What happened was it was a terrible accident. He could have, you know, Jay could have easily tripped and fallen into a pool and except, drowned. Except he didn't. He didn't fall into a pool. He wandered into the road where he was hit by my father who was drinking. And look, man, I can't jump on this denial bandwagon that my dad and Lulu were on. I can't pretend that alcohol wasn't a factor when it obviously was. So that means that as much as I want to, I can't comfort my father right now. I can't tell him what he wants to hear. But I'm afraid for him, Sonny. I don't want him to self-destruct. I don't want him to implode. I just can't help him. So I'm asking you. Can you do that for me? <laughs> 